the new Tsar? Nope. Yes, yes we do. Oh. Uh, hmm. Factions. Okay, I don't know what happened to the last Tsar, but can we put ourselves in? That's just Teresa for Bulgaria. We are at 97% of our liege already. Wow. Okay, do we have anyone that would join the faction? All this intrigue. How exciting. Pacts. Um, want to form an alliance with me? Not really, no. That's too bad. You like me okay, though. I don't like that we're different religions. Hmm. Yeah, not so good. Who else can we bring into this? Um... I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. If we can take Bulgaria, then we're in good shape. But we're still needing some people here. Okay. Um, hmm. You're a prince, but you don't have any land of your own. Where are you? We're down here. I'm not not concerned about you, really. Presimir of Tyrus is our uh, vassal, so that's not going to work. Our spy master. Oh no, spy master of Tyrus. Okay, that's fine. Violetta. Mm, it's all fine and dandy, I suppose. But why don't you make a mercenary company? No, I'm not going to do that. Need the gold. Ah. Um, where do we stand militarily? We're almost at full. Quite a few levies. Don't have the ability to borrow any more money. Well, let's see if anyone joins voluntarily here. Like there's a number of factions that just started. Can't get you to join my faction, of course. Hmm. Okay, let's look at your vassals. These would be on equal standing with me. Look for anyone who doesn't have a good opinion of you. Duke of Aristogrom. How would you like to join my faction? You don't. You don't want to. You like me okay. I have siblings. Range of patrol with your sibling. Nope, that's not going to work. Oh, this is... This is a challenge? Oh, because you're already uh, betrothed, of course. There's a nine-year difference between you. Hmm, that works out for you. It's come to attention that Magistros of Arca, Mayor Adrianos of Shazar, has bribed and threatened his way through my domain, trying to get uh, enough people to recognize a claim on my title. Which title? We're gonna celebrate here. Set. We uh, need a new court chaplain. Fine. Saba, you will do well. And uh, go back to Jerusalem, continuing to try to convince them to convert. Meanwhile, we're gonna prep you by just kind of hanging out in Sofia. Days of revelry are great escape. Dan is now our best friend. Oh, nice. I don't think you can join my faction, right? Nope. You are already, um... There. 
So let's see, what else do we have here? Boil. You weren't in seclusion. Can we get a non-aggression pact? No. I think it's just that you're in seclusion at the moment. Keep an eye on things. Uh, did we lose our stressed trait? We did not. Would have been nice. We have somebody who joined in. We've lost uh, strength in comparison. Nicopolis, yeah, I'll support your Carpenter's Guild, that's fine. Who are you? Joachim. Oh, that's nice. You are uncle. I should try swaying you, see if I can bring you over to join my faction instead. You would join an alliance. Okay, great. I'll do it. Well, that didn't... wasn't too difficult. Um, no, I'm not going to kill random person. What do we do? Um, I'm still at 70%. Boyana, 14-year-old daughter. Um, patient is probably better for you. It'll give us some out of patient, but we're going to let you learn on your own, because I, I have a feeling we're going to be going to war soonly. Massive recruitment drive, excellent. Bulgaria won their war. It's less good. You're at 32,000. I'm not sure that that's going to be so good. Although, this is a better indicator since we'll have more people coming in. Mm. Good, good, good. Um, let's try swaying you. I need a new court physician. Okay. Yeah, why now? You'd be a good one. Um, you want to convert? Cool. Welcome to being Begomalist. Now we should get along great. Bulgarian Holy War for Ascalon. Interesting, you're going after Egypt. As long as you're at war, I don't think I can... Oh no! These are dark days! My son, Count Vladislav, has been growing weaker and weaker, and I've just been informed that his affliction is consumption. Call for my court physician. See what you can do. Newly appointed court physician. More people joining my faction, eh? Eh? I would really like to be, um, put into position here. Oof. We've lost strength here. My eye on that. I suppose since he's got them raised, that's the really problem. All right, I'm gonna come to your party. Some days being duchess is no easy thing. There's always business to attend to, subjects seeking audiences, and vassals complaining about imagined injustices. Uh, finally, you're having a moment to yourself, stroll in the gardens. In the distance, you spot a stranger dressed in simple garb. I shall invite this woman, um, to walk with me. Pleased to hear that Sophia is doing well. Hooray! It turns out that the stranger, Rosa, is a nun on her way back to the cloister after several months on the road. As the evening light grows dimmer, you converse about life and death, faith and doubt. When you excuse yourself to return home, the nun asks if you can offer room and board for a few days. Of course, Rosa, you shall find rest by my hearth. For whom the bells toll. More often than not, you retreat to your chambers in the evening, feeling exhausted and weary. Tonight is no exception. 
Falling asleep is usually easy after a long and taxing day. However, recently, sleep seems to elude you. You are sitting in your study, idly moving chess pieces on the board before you, sipping a glass of wine, hoping it shall give you the rest you seek. Suddenly, someone knocks. Who could it be at this hour? Before you can shout at the intruder to leave you alone, the door opens and Rosa strides in. Good evening, my lady. I realize that I never introduced myself properly. I am Death, and I am here to collect you. A dagger is glinting in her hand. Uh, okay. Death, you are a patient, chaste, game master. I challenge you to a game of chess, or um, we can try to overpower her. Okay, well, let's go for chess. Rosa raises an eyebrow, an amused look on her face. Why not? I have all the time in the world, though you are simply postponing the inevitable, Teresa, for you are sure to lose. She settles in the chair opposite your own and places the dagger on the table. Black or white? I will play as black. Black, my lucky color. Well, it matters not, Rosa says with a nonchalant shrug. What's your strategy for the first part of the game? Uh, defensive, advantage of the opening, or uh, well-practiced strategy. Well, we are a game master, so let's go for it. Well-practiced strategy. In the first few minutes of the game, you manage to advance across the board, taking out several of Rosa's pieces while barely suffering any losses yourself. As you capture her second knight, she clicks her tongue testily. Do not get too confident. It's not over yet. Thank God for my good fortune. Please, let it continue. My friend's friend is also my friend, a motto I try to live by. I hope we'll be friends, okay? Um, this is Count Boril? Let's see how this goes. You try to, there's too many things going on. Oh no! Um, sure, send an envoy to Duke Grigore. I'm sure that, that'll go well. You try to keep your nerves in check, although it is nearly impossible. You are in the lead. The scowl on Rosa has renewed your hopes. Or is it just a trick? What's your next move? She'll tell Rosa of the crushing defeat my last opponent suffered. Um, attempt to make her nervous by bragging about your chess skills. If I distract Rosa, perhaps I can return one of my lost pieces to the board. Uh, knock over your wine glass and cheat? Or just focus on the game? No, we'll, we'll do uh, brag about chess skills. You almost cannot believe it, but surely it is sh so. The plan is successful. As you keep playing, you tell Rosa stories about your masterful chess skills, and prove them, too, by some clever moves. She seems to have lost some of her focus. Perhaps I can win this, after all. I've never won a game of chess against death. We'll see how this goes. Never have you met such a tenacious, unnerving opponent, and never has so much been at stake. The game is nearing its end, and is looking even, indeed. Rosa is playing with your captured queen, Smiling confidently, I could be persuaded to return this to you for the right price. Uh, offer the life of our son? No, no thank you. I put my trust in my skill. During the last few moves, it feels as if time is standing still. Random, disjointed thoughts flash through your mind. Places you once visited, old friends you've not seen in years, dreams you gave up on. Is it too late? Then suddenly you see it. The move. With a shaking hand, you pick up the bishop and set it down across the board with a soft thud. Checkmate, you whisper, looking up into Rosa's eyes. For the first time this evening, you can really see it, and it chills you to your core. This is no mortal woman, but death herself. It seems as if you have outwitted me, Teresa, so I will give you a few more years, she sighs. It is of little consequence, for in the end all come with me. And then, as you blink, she is gone. That might be true, but for now I shall live. Not a day will be wasted. You feel stronger. Uh, Duchess Teresa gains death's gift, giving the following effects. Health plus two. What? Maya has finished her uh, education in the ways of war. Skilled tactician. Fantastic. Glad to hear it. Actually, fairly good. And you're the one married, uh, about to be married to King Pierre of Equitaine. Known for her great bravery. No, brave is good. See if she can bring some of our good skills over there. Um, wow, that was a fantastic game of chess. Uh, Sophia's doing well. 
have no idea what else took place. Um, I have a feeling if we revolted now, we'd still... Oh, we'd be at 51%. That's okay. Duke of Bosnia. <laughs> I see you have a son. I'm guessing you would not... How old is your son? Two? Not be willing to do matrilineal, but regular marriage you would be willing to do. Unfortunately, my diplomats were unable to convince Duke Grigore of my good intentions. I'm afraid I'll have to try something different to earn his trust. Well, we'll try that out. Great, Samuel of Bosnia, how would you like to be in alliance now? Cool. Uh, Duke Boyle of Toronto frowned upon my suggestion to arrange another meeting. Clearly not interested in making new friends. Oh, that's too bad. Um, Jamila has become a gomlist. Okay, fine. We are in an alliance now. I'm glad to hear that, too. Ooh, what is that? You're in Ares. Okay. You seem to be in the uh, horoscope faction, whatever that's called. Society of Hermes, right? Hermetic Society? Yeah. <laughs> We haven't done any secrets in a while. Okay, well, our um, Tsar is still uh, at war. So we'll we'll keep this going. See if we can invite others here. We've got this alliance going. With our alliance, does that allow us to uh, ask you to join the faction? No. Okay. I can do that with favors, but not with alliances. Okay, fair enough. Um, truth be told, this emirate is not a bad thing for us to pick up if we can manage it. Arrived at the party. Seems like a great time for that. Wow, the Abbasid have a huge revolt. Uh, we played for hours the Tides of Fortune. I didn't mean to click that before. Uh, ebbing and flowing as I try to attack my opponent's positions. Hail to the Duchess. Okay, yeah. Good job on us being a game master. 30% uh, chance to lose stressed. I would like that very much if we did. It did not happen. To the proud beauty Teresa. Uh, we request you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against Duchess Christina of Moldavia. Um, yeah, okay, we'll go to war with Moldavia. Don't want to lose that at all. Kill the Tsar. Hmm. Perhaps. So we'll do this indeed. Join someone else's plot. It's a little better. Okay, we are now at war. Over the Duchy of Tens. Okay, fine. Actually got our troops fairly close to the right position here. All y'all come together. You uh, want to march on up there to Sofia? Wow, look at all these troops. Suppose it makes sense, given all these counties we hold now. Y'all are gonna march across too. Head on up there. Young Boyana has finished her education in the ways of faith and learning. It's evident she's excelled in her studies. Oh, good. Boyana has become a scholarly theologian. I'll have to hear that, too. Oh, you should just go directly in there. I'm gonna need to help. There we go. Good. Oh, we fought a battle? Why did we fight a battle? I noticed Marshal Count Dan's hard work, and everyone seems to like him. Send him to heighten the troops' morale. Hey, it's a good time for that. I guess we accidentally ran into the uh, Tulanids. Okay. Well, I don't think you'd believe me, but that was an accidental uh, run-in. Ooh, Akka is under revolt. However, the Abbasid revolt has 60,000 troops. Um, stay out of their way. 
We can manage it. Get out of there. Good. No holding out in a disease province isn't a good idea. But... Ooh, okay, head back over. That was certainly not the intent. Let our liege handle that. Polotsk has converted to Bogomilism. Fantastic. Fantastic.